Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Coffee with Katie. Got my Comes in Pites mug from Pable Grounds Coffee. So today's video is going to be another semi-big unboxing. I have three things to unbox for you because they all came again like around the same time. I don't know how this keeps happening, but we have a Fairy Loot adult box, a Broken Binding unboxing, and a Bookish box unboxing. So let's just get into it. The first one we have is the Fairy Loot adult box. This is the adult box for September? No. October? October. It's the adult box for October and the theme is My Dear Nemesis and the adult only boxes are just the books as you know so we'll just get into it right now. And here is the art print with the author letter. It's pretty cool. We have the book. Ooh! So we have The Hurricane Wars by Thea Guanzen. This cover is so cool. I love it. The, the original one is actually really pretty too, but this is really cool. I love the foiling and the colors. Whoo! The spine is also very lovely. The back says, The Night Empire casts a long shadow over the land. Nothing can stand in the way of its might and power. Year by year, the hurricane wars take and take, and yet there is hope in the darkness. One lone light stands against the empire. Ooh! The top and bottom are like purple. Top is light purple, bottom is dark purple. But the sprayed edges on this sucker are beautiful. I love the mixture of the yellow and the purple and the sky. It looks beautiful. This is a great addition. I really like it so far. Man, all right. Nothing underneath the dust jacket, but the naked hardcover is purple with a lot of, with some printing on it. This moon and a lot of gold foiling. Very, very beautiful. The spine is like the same with the design and the foiling. Awesome. And the back. And then the end pages are absolutely stunning as well with more foiling. So pretty. The color combination on this is just beautiful. It's like very sunsetty. Ooh. Look at that. And I can't tell if this is signed. I know a lot of them have been digitally signed, but I think this is a digital signature. The, uh... <laughs> The dedication says I did this for the rats, which is hilarious to me. I'm sure there's meaning behind that, but it's just funny. Okay, and I don't really remember what this is about. I do remember seeing something that was like, if you're fans of this book, you'll like it. And I can't even remember what that is at the moment. So the little spoiler card says, a prince who wields shadows like a weapon and a girl with a secret ability to control light. This Southeast Asian fantasy features an enemies to lovers romance that we can't get enough of. That sounds like Elena and the Darkling. Is this an Elena and the Darkling story? Love story, please. <laughs> um, that sounds like something I will really enjoy. I'm very excited. I wasn't actually that excited about this book. I thought I would read it eventually, but now I'm kind of very excited, especially if it's an Elena and the Darkling kind of story. I would really like that. So very excited about this. It's a beautiful edition. Yes. Next, we have the Broken Binding box for September. Oh, I'm, I, I think it's September, but I really don't remember at this point. No, it's October. Good grief. Okay. So then we have the Broken Binding box for October, and it is the Powder Mage. It is the first book in the Powder Mage, and it is Promise of Blood. On the back of the bookmark, it says, when a man solved his problems by punching them, Books were often a foreign thing. Okay, beautiful package. Let's unwrap it. Um, when I saw that we were getting this series, because I do, I, you, they do announce like the trilogies they're doing. When I saw that we were getting this, I had literally never heard of it, and it is the most wild thing ever because it seems like a revolutionary war time period. I don't know. I'll show you. I know nothing about it. Okay, so we have the Promise of Blood by Brian McKellen. See what I mean? It's like such a bizarre thing. Anyway, beautiful book. The Power Mage Trilogy. It's an Orbit book. The back says the Age of Kings is dead and I have killed it. Ooh, the pages are very cool. The top and bottom are black, but this is like a war zone sky mountain area with the horses charging into battle. So that's fun. And it is a printed hardcover. So it looks like this. Lots of uh, guillotines. So that's gruesome. And papers. See what I mean about it being like war-esque? 
crazy. And it is signed by the author. So Tomas Ku against the king has sent corrupt aristocrats to the guillotine and brought bread to the starving. So this dude overthrew a king and apparently is doing some good stuff, if not gruesome stuff. But he knows that the battle is just beginning because it provoked a war with the nine nations. So everyone's like scrambling for money and power at this point, even what, who he considered to be his groups of allies. And he's relying heavily on the few remaining powder mages. And they're also telling stories about these gods that are just like old peasant legends about these gods waking to walk the earth and no one believes them, but they should. So that sounds very, like a lot of stuff's going on, a lot of interesting things. I'm very curious about the powder mages. I've heard like, when this was announced, I was like, what the heck is that? I've never heard of it, you know what I'm saying? But people freaked out and they were like, we cannot wait, we love this series, it's so good. So apparently it's really good, look into it. I will read it at some point. There you go. Not my usual read, but I think it's gonna be good. And last but not least, we have the bookish box unboxing. I believe this is the adult box for June. No, May, for May. Yes, okay, so this is the adult book for May. Let's get into it. First thing I see is this, which is a bookish tumbler. And if it's like the tumblers that I got before from them, I love them, they're great. It is, but it's clear and pink, okay. Ooh, so this one is like clear and very iridescent pink, but the symbol on it is a sword and some books, which we love that. I like that this one's different. The rest of them were like matte and very dark colored. I have the dark green one and the dark black one, but this is a very different, very more springy-esque one with its little straw. But I love these tumblers. They're actually super great and I will use them for a very long time. Oh, and I apologies. The adult box theme for this month is Spellbound. The next thing I see is this, which says it's a Hades and Persephone inspired keychain, enamel keychain. It like fell off its little hooky thing. A little enamel keychain, it's very cute. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it, to be honest. Um, and that was designed by Rad Mad Prince. It's very beautiful. Next thing I see is this tiny little thing, which is a ring, it turns out, and it is, says, <gasps> It's inspired by the Bonds That Tie series, and the artist is Bluey Boo. I have not finished the series, so I'm curious, should I know what it is? Anyway, let me get this out, because I love rings. Very cute. So it's a little ring. It's going to be very hard to see. And it's got a book with a flower um, etched into it, I guess would be the right word, but it's very cute. Let's see. Um, it's pretty big for me. The thing that sucks about stuff like this is you cannot get it to fit everyone, and I'm sure it fits most people, but I have really small hands, and so it doesn't really fit me, but I do like the style quite a bit, but it's just gonna fall right off me, so I'm gonna have to pass this along to somebody else, but if it did fit, I would keep it. Next thing I see is this little box, which says, well, that's the artist, well, okay, it just says the bookish box. Claire Legrand, inspired by Claire Legrand, and the artist is Doom and Bloom Studios. So let's see what this is. Cute, it's a little box. It's like a canvas kind of type, and it's got this really pretty imprint on it, and then it has a zipper, and you open it up. Oh, it's a little jewelry box. That's actually super cute. Look at this little jewelry box. Oh, look, you can put necklaces here has little things you can hang it on and then tuck it in. This is actually really nice. And the last thing is going to be our book bay for the month. Let me get it out so I can see what it is. Oh, okay, it is Emery from A Court of Silver Flames. Very nice. I really like that. She's an Illyrian, super cool. I like this one a lot. And that one was designed by Fern and Amaya. And then last but not least, we have the book. Let me just unwrap it. Okay, so this, the book for May is A Crown of Ivory and Glass by Claire Legrand. The cover is actually really pretty. I like the florals and the green foiling. It's very beautiful. The spine is gorgeous. The back, the end pages, not end pages, the sprayed edges. Very nice. The reverse side of the dust jacket's really pretty. Like, my whoops my gosh like it's very fairy tale esque and beautiful with the foiling it says i would fight for the life i wanted the love i wanted 
until it was truly safely mine. Very beautiful. This design is really pretty. The naked hardcover looks like this. It's a crown of ivy and glass. The spine is very nice. The back is the same. It's very cool. End pages, also very beautiful. Unfortunately, um, I did start to read this book, I think back in May. I got like a net galley of it. And I ended up DNFing it because I really did not care for it. Um, I wanted to give it a shot. I think I got like 30% in, 40% in, and was still not really feeling it. So I just cut that one right out. But it is um, signed by the, whoop, it is signed by the author. It's a beautiful book, but I was just not that into it. From what I remember when I was reading it, it is following the main character who, you're supposed to have magic in this world if you're like a, an affluent, like say you're the family of like a duke or a high lord or something like that. You're supposed to have then have magic because the upper class of society has access to magic, but she kind of has this like opposite. She has an illness. So whenever magic is around her, touches her, she experiences it, she tries to use it, she gets super sick and it hurts her. And because of that, she develops a lot of like anxiety and she's like very upset and has like mental health issues. Um, I thought the character was extremely selfish and extremely toxic and it was very frustrating for me to read. And so I stopped reading the book because I just really wasn't feeling it. I didn't really like it. I didn't like the character. But if and I she kind of just starts developing a romance with somebody that can take her pain away, which is interesting. And she's trying to uncover some plots because they're trying to get like there's like two families that are feuding and they're trying to get demons to kill each other or something. I never really got to that part, but probably going to pass this beautiful edition along to somebody else. But that's the book for May. Overall, I thought that box was really nice. I'm still, you know, playing catch up because we're in May. It's box now and it's October, end of October. So um, hopefully they start catching up soon. I know it's been uh, hard for them. So give them a little bit of grace, but it's it's been a while. But it's a stunning edition and I'm very happy to have gotten all of these boxes. They are beautiful and, and looking forward to reading the books that I haven't tried already. That's everything I'm unboxing today. What was your favorite box that was unboxed or book? But as for now, that is it for today's video. Please like this video if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, and I will see you next time. Stay safe and caffeinated. Bye.